Can you see my breath now? <laughs> Some have wondered if it's really that cold up here all the time because they don't always see my breath. But with the humidity today, it's, I can make it happen. I think the high for the day, it's zero Fahrenheit. This morning, it was minus 17 Fahrenheit. When it's, we, we left town, we stayed at a buddy's in town. Drove up yesterday from Illinois. Pleasantly surprised when we got out to our parking spot. we have only been about six inches of snow since I left here six weeks ago, so we had a real nice place to park, no, no shoveling, and we were able to come in almost effortlessly. Some places, the wolves, I mean, look at this where the wolves had it all. This is all wolf had all this packed down. This is an opening about one mile in from the from the west road that we came in on, and we've seen a lot of deer tracks. We got in this area. This is about a 100% wolf tracks, and where they've been out here wrestling around. It is the mating season in February, so some of that activity might have been heightened. But this is just where they've been out here playing and had a good time and packed down hard. Not a deer track around any of this. Got a good start to our first day. Wasn't all that much snow to shovel. I got the dog, the snow dog out and ran around and kind of packed all of our trails within a mile of the cabin and that went really good. Only one little small branch had fallen down. See I'm not here alone, there's another cup. Uh, cabin partner Jim's here. He's been screwing around doing chores and boiling the water and we got things getting camp all set up here with some melting some ice. Got some nice hot tea. Of course Jim can't slow down yet, so he says, I'm I'm going for a walk. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I've been I'm still dressed pretty warm because I was out on that dog and it's uh it's a few degrees above zero Fahrenheit, but nice sun shining, but still. It's kind of nippy, especially coming from Illinois, where we've been so balmy down there lately. We got a little acclimatizing to do, but boy, it's going to be a good week. Everything's falling into place. Our Canada Jays come in for a few snacks already. They they said hello, and oh, and it was we pulled up on the road out there, and I'd seen a car behind us, and there was very few tracks in the road, like nobody's logging out there. And, I got out of the vehicle in our parking spot and the, the vehicle pulled up and they introduced themselves as, as Bill and Nancy and here they're, they live a ways away but they've driven out and Bill had figured out where my parking spot ought to be and just out of curiosity he just, it was a nice day so they went for a drive and lo and behold they find out that I'm on the road so that was quite a opportune meeting with with Bill and Nancy, he was just down trying to see if he could find the trail. He had already found it and walked a little bit, and then they, they were on their way leaving the forest when they saw us, and they turned around and followed us back in. So anyway, that, that was a lot of fun. That was that was good. I, I think Bill had commented on my YouTube videos one time, and I, I'd called him. I'd got his phone number, and I gave him a call. So that was good. Kind of made our day as we headed in. Now, I got some steaks thawing out, some venison steaks, and probably hit the, probably go to bed early tonight. I think Jim wants to sleep outside a lot, but I think he's, for the first night anyway, it's going to be, I don't know, another 15 below Fahrenheit night tonight, so tomorrow I don't even know if it's going to get up to zero Fahrenheit. 
Sun's going to shine, so everything's good. Good to see you mighty uh, picky since we got here. Now well, here comes maybe a, another better taker. Your buddy up there didn't seem too interested. How about you? Yeah. See how it's done? I hadn't noticed it till later, but this is Bobby, our bobtail Canada Jay. He's got no tail at all. I'd like to know what happened with that. Monkey see, monkey do. He did the same exact pattern. Landed up there, came down to the camera, shook it a little bit, then got a little food and took off. I'm only seeing two Canada Jays here, which doesn't surprise me because they're getting really close to. Time they'll be having their, they'll be laying some eggs. And they always drive off the young ones of the year before. Before that happens, it kind of cleans out the area. So, four Canada Jays here the last time, and I'm going to say we're down to two. One more thing we didn't notice right away when we finally got it figured out was that our resident adult pair of Canada Jays had moved away. And this was just the young juveniles of the year. They were hanging around the yard, and we know that because a few days later, we found the adults about a half mile away, and they were hungry. Really nice having this snow dog pack these trails down, and I'd run them six weeks ago too, so with just a little bit of snow on top of them, I was able to Pack them down again, and I think by tomorrow morning they'll be cement hard. I think for right now I'm going to take the trail less traveled over here and see if I can find any blackback woodpeckers working on some dying tamarack trees down this way. There's so many deer. Out here this year, they move in in the winter time because of the cedars that were heading toward here. And they've got this trail, even though it was never groomed with the snow dog or anything, but it's a hard packed trail, so makes it really nice going. There's about a little over 20 inches of snow if I stepped off to the side, so it's really nice having this hard pack. This cedar tree fell across the trail and there should be some green cedar bows on there, but the deer said, no, that's too good a dinner, and they've reached up and cleaned this whole thing off. See there on the ground, they probably had standing on their hind legs to get up there, but they have no trouble doing that. They haven't gone that far, and I think this is about the seventh tree that came down since I had this opened up last summer. You can see that wet snow piled up on those things and the wind blows and takes them right over. The sun's getting lower in the sky. We're gonna have to stop playing here pretty quick. Maybe go in and get some supper. I think I see Kevin partner Jim coming back toward the the clearing. Gonna have a real 
simple supper here on our first night. We got some nice tender venison backstrap and some steak. And brought up a package of vegetables that I'm steaming in the steamer. Oh, maybe later I even have some hot chocolate pudding if uh, this doesn't satisfy our hunger from the day's toil. As we finish up this first day's coverage of our February 2023 cabin visit, I wanted to explain this picture that everybody asked about that's on the door as we enter. It's kind of bluish and it's kind of faded, but what it is, it's a picture of a, or a print of something, two old-time trappers and a lean-to stretching out some beaver hides. So whenever we think it's rough at our cabin, we just check these guys out. <laughs> 